we are asked to find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface given by f of x comma y at the point three comma five comma ten. Let's first look at this graphically. The graph of the surface given by f of x comma y is graphed here in blue. The point of tangency is the red point and the yellow plane is the tangent plane. Our goal is to determine the equation of this yellow tangent plane. Looking at the notes below, if f of x comma y is differentiable at a given point, then the equation of the tangent plane is given by this equation here. Notice how the equation of the tangent plane involves the partial derivative of f with respect to x and the partial of f with respect to y. Let's begin by determining these first order of partial derivatives. To determine the partial of f with respect to x, we differentiate f of x comma y with respect to x, treating y as a constant. So we treat this y as a constant and this y as a constant and differentiate with respect to x. And therefore, the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to two y times the derivative of cosine of the quantity five x minus three y with respect to x, which is negative sine of the quantity five x minus three y. And now applying the chain rule, we multiply by the derivative of five x minus three y with respect to x, which gives us five. Again, we treat this y as a constant. Notice how this is equal to negative 10 y times sine of the quantity five x minus three y. And now let's find the partial of f with respect to y. To do this, we differentiate f of x comma y with respect to y, now treating x as a constant. Looking at the function, because we have two y times cosine of the quantity five x minus three y, we will have to apply the product rule as well as the chain rule. Let's treat the first function as two y and the second function as the cosine function. Applying the product rule, we have the first function of two y times the derivative of cosine of the quantity five x minus three y with respect to y, which is equal to negative sine of the quantity five x minus three y times the derivative of five x minus three y with respect to y, which is negative three. And then we have plus the second function of cosine of the quantity five x minus three y times the derivative of the first function with respect to y, the derivative of two y with respect to y is just two. Simplifying, the partial of f with respect to y is equal to, here we're going to have two times negative three, then we have a negative here which gives us positive six y times sine of the quantity five x minus three y, and then we have plus two times cosine of the quantity five x minus three y. Now we need to evaluate both first order partial derivatives at the point three comma five. So the partial of f with respect to x at three comma five equals negative 10 times y, which is five, times sine of the quantity five times x, which is three, minus three times y, which is five. This is equal to negative 50 times sine of 15 minus 15, which is zero. Sine of zero is equal to zero, and therefore the partial of f with respect to x at three comma five is equal to zero. And now we need to evaluate the partial of f with respect to y at three comma five. This is equal to six times five times the sine of the quantity five times three minus three times five plus two times cosine of the quantity five times three minus three times five. Simplifying, here we have 30 times, this is sine zero and then plus two times cosine zero. Well, sine zero is equal to zero, but cosine zero is equal to one. This is equal to two times one, which is equal to two. So the partial of f with respect to y at three comma five is equal to positive two. Now we have all the information we need in order to determine the equation of the tangent plane. The equation of the tangent plane is z equals f of x sub one comma y sub one is f of three comma five. This is the z coordinate when x equals three and y equals five, and we are given the z coordinate is 10, 
which means f of three comma five is 10. And then we have plus the partial of f with respect to x evaluated at three comma five times the quantity x minus x sub one. x sub one is the x coordinate of the point of tendency and therefore we have x minus three. And then we have plus the partial of f with respect to y at three comma five times the quantity y minus y sub one. y sub one is a y coordinate of the point of tendency which gives us y minus five. And now let's fill in the missing function values. We have z equals, again f of three comma five is the z coordinate of the point of tendency, which we know is 10. And we have plus the partial of f with respect to x at three comma five is zero. So we have zero times the quantity x minus three, plus the partial of f with respect to y at three comma five is two, giving us two times the quantity y minus five. Let's finish this on the next slide. Clear in the parentheses, we have z equals 10, distributing zero, which is going to give us zero for both terms here. And then we're left with plus two times the quantity y minus five, which gives us plus two y minus 10. 10 minus 10 is zero. The equation of the tangent plane is z equals two y. Going back to the graph one last time, we just found the equation of this yellow tangent plane is z equals two y. This is the tangent plane to the surface at the red point, which is the point three comma five comma two. I hope you found this helpful.